up, what's up, it's your boy Sobe, so sketching how you doing today? So, normally on this show, what I do is, you know, speed paints, drawings, whatnot. I may say something entertaining, you know, I may do, do the ha-ha and all that. That's just me. What we're going to do today is slightly different. We're going to do RPG horror stories. We're going to read it right off of Reddit. I'll say the username, and then I'm going to just read the story. I'm going to give my... my immediate reaction so it's gonna be fun boss in the background so i'm probably doing right now in uh, recording and editing i am drawing out my interpretation of what this is okay that's gonna be interesting we're gonna do a few stories here and then let me know in the comments if you like this if you like it tell me let me know all right let's go into it all right <laughs> <laughs> so my first time playing DD, a friend at work asked me if i wanted to play and my response was what's DD? He explained the concept and had me come over on Saturday to roll a character for a Sunday game that he would DM. That's Dungeon Mastering, and the person who runs the game. On Saturday, I show up and end up rolling a monk. He has loaned me a 3.5 PHP so I could familiarize myself with how the game works that night and be ready for the game the next day. That's like uh, your character sheet, uh, things you know about the character, their stats, all that junk. I show up for the game on Sunday and treat it like I'm a shitty veteran player. Oof! I got heavy size and insulted for not having actions ready on my turn and not understanding how combat works and was told that it was unacceptable that I had to borrow dice instead of bringing my own. I explained that it was my first time. First time, man. And the response I got was that I had been given the PHB the night before so I should know what I'm doing if I had bothered to read it. Rude ass. Fuck. Also, I couldn't ask anything out of character at all. There was no system for out of character conversation. Keeping in mind that I had only learned of the existence of D D like three days prior to this, so asking questions like "What is a bugbear?" or "Which dice do I roll for persuasion?" I would get in character responses to those questions. You're a monk. You don't know what a bugbear is? No, cause I'm new, dum dum. What kind of ship monastery did you train at? And why would you play with dice right now when we are trying to talk to the king? I also have my player agency taken from me at every turn. <laughs> since I don't know what I was doing. Two specific examples. First one, we opened up chests with armor and weapons in it. We were all told that we could each take something from the chest. The DM goes around the table asking each player what they want. You wanted a two-handed sword? Okay, here's a plus one grand sword. Here's your plus one studded leather gear as well, and etc. He gets to me, the monk, who's wearing no armor and gets bonuses for not using weapons, and I tell him that, no, I'm good. He makes me take a weapon anyway, despite my protest, I would never use it. Mine was a homebrew Teko Kagai, and as a monk, I could still had to take the penalties for using a weapon, so still doing less damage than empty-handed. So basically, this character is supposed to be, it's supposed to be like, you know, no weapons at all. Just your fist is the weapon. So anytime he takes an actual weapon, if they mess- <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely going to edit. After he gets all the way around the table, he says that the weapons and armor are all cursed and they are now our most prized possession. We'd rather die than part with our new item. And we will suffer damage anytime we have the chance to use the item and don't. Second time is that we ran to a something. I don't remember what she was and couldn't ask what she was anyway. I just remember that she was evil. Very powerful and apparently so hot we all want just... Do what she told us to because of how hot and powerful she was. Just a hot, hot chick. Hot, evil chick. You know what? I get it. I get it. I, as a guy, I get it. I get it. Anyway, when she first walked up, she asked a question and I answered it. She ran up and smacked me because I dared talk to her about her specifically dressing me. So I'm like, fuck it. I pull out my Tickle Kagai and strap it on my hands. The DM looks at me and says, no, you don't. She can kill you in one turn. Just sit there and shut up and I'll tell you when you can do something. That's not really good RPing right there. I've been in some sessions. That's that's terrible RPing. Especially from, from a DM. You don't do that shit. Don't do that. Don't, don't be a shit DM. At the end of session one, we have just enough XP to level up. We level up our character and leave. I see him at work the next week and tell him that I don't think d is for me. Yeah, I really ain't. His response was that everyone thought that I did great for my first time playing and that we were just excited for me to come next week and play again. <laughs> me, surprise Pikachu face. Yeah, I would too, Gloria. Like, what? What? It's like most stories on this sub, I go back even though I, though I shouldn't have. <laughs> at some point that week, the DM does something stupid at work. It's a very minor thing. I don't remember what it was, but it was stupid enough 
that me and a couple other guys joked right, to him about it. Again, it was nothing, and getting joked for minor things like this was normal among us at work. Him included, so it wasn't like he was being singled out. It was just normal workplace banter. All right, so this bullshit happens. I show up for the game on Sunday. We sit down, we ask him for my character sheet. I hand it over. He looks for about 30 seconds and says, All right, take your decks down from an 18 to a 16, taking your plus four to a plus three. Also, track 500 XP, making me, making you level one again. He hands my character sheet back and watch me make the changes, also walking through, taking my character back down to level one, subtracting HP, etc. etc. After he finishes, he looks me dead in the eye and says, Maybe that will teach you not to run your mouth at work. <laughs> Please, he's a dickhead, that's what he's saying. He was watching for my reaction, so I just shrugged and said, Okay. I could tell he was pissed that I didn't give up. <laughs> I'm screwing with my character. I didn't care because it didn't feel like my character at this point. But I'm like I was playing an NPC for him, which yeah, you are playing an NPC pretty much. You're you're a nothing. You're just you're you're a pawn. My two examples of losing player agency above. The first example will happen in the first session, and the second that will happen in the second session. So back to back. God damn. Shortly after, just sit there and shut up, and I'll tell you when you can do something. We took a break. I went out to my car and left. Monday, he told me it was messed up that I just left like that, and me not being there screwed up his encounters, so I was kicked from the group. Okay. I respond by joking about how his work screwed up the week prior. I made copies of my monk character sheet, and anytime he tried to joke me about work after that, I would just give him a copy of the character sheet and ask him which stats to reduce. This actually got the attention of another coworker who I ended up playing D&D with after a lot of convincing and actually enjoying the game. So, all right. Happy ending after all, with shit DM. Seriously, first time, back to back. Yikes! Next one! This one is called, That Time I Was the Homophobe. NF NSWF. Ooh, it's gonna be spicy. Spicy, spicy, spicy. User Throwaway RPG HS. I was reminded of this story by a post in one of the larger D&D subreddits. A few years ago, I joined a 5e campaign somewhat late into the campaign. Two of the players were playing male characters that got into a relationship, so, you know, they, uh, the real close buzzing buddies. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Hope that means there's room for good RP between party members. Sometimes lovey language is a little excessive and pours on cringe. I kind of agree. I've been there before. Yeah, it, it kind of does. It, it, I've been there, dude. It does. It, it's it's not it's not great to watch. Trust me. Campaign wraps up and I'm invited to join the next one. All right. One of those two players decides she's going to roll up on a slutty male pirate. Interesting. Frequent talks about who he's playing to hook up with. Dozens of past partners appear throughout the campaign. Oh boy. Oh boy, even more new NPCs are attempted to be seduced by a character. Oh boy, one of these. One of these. I know where this is going. All the while, I'm getting more and more uncomfortable with how she's presenting her character. Unfortunately for me, I am a coward and I don't want to discuss it with her. Oh well. I'm not too cowardly to vent about to other gaming group though. Brave. Brave. I am, I'll admit, I was probably not explaining it particularly well, but at a certain point, Josh, a new member of my other group, pipes up. So, would you be uncomfortable if she was playing a straight character like that? Josh. Me. I guess less, since it wouldn't have the context of her last PC being gay, too. Josh. That's fucked up, man. What's your problem? I can't play with a homophobe. Me. You know I'm gay, right? So the user is actually homosexual, and he finds this to be a horrible stereotype, which I agree. It kind of is. Kind of fucked up. Yeah. Yup, I'm not in the closet, just not super out about it. Fair. I just didn't want to be in a game where one of the players was doing some weird mix of physicization and stereotyping people like me. <laughs> yeah, been there, buddy. I have been there. I have been there exactly. Oh boy. Stories I can tell you later. Which as side note seems to be a more and more common occurrence with the fair gender, which the social detective in me ties to the shipping culture and the refusal to accept male friendships as just friendships. Yeah, agreed, agreed. I I've seen some shit like that. I guess the moral story is put diverse realistic characters in your game. Don't play a harmful stereotype unless you talk to other players about it. Preach! Remember that as a PC, more often than not, your character is going to represent other groups of people in terms of the fiction, unless the DM makes it explicitly clear that most are not like yours. TLDR, gay man is homophobe for being uncomfortable with a straight woman repeatedly playing gay characters, especially one as the world's bicycle. Bicycle! Bicycle! 
I want to ride my bike. I'll stop. Y'all wildin' out, man. Y'all wildin' out. All right, last one from user Just Drama 12, the player who was better than all of us. Here we go. This happened in college. I just saw a post that kind of reminded me of the first time I ever played d and It's just been about two weeks since I had joined college. I was away from home and didn't really know anyone here. Been there. Three guys in my dorm find out that they all like d and They convinced me and other, another guy to join their campaign. A, B, and C had previously played d and while D and me had never heard of it. This is naming convention, man. <laughs> this is naming convention got going. I was interested how it sounded while D seemed to have only joined because it seemed like a few girls from our batch wanted to play as well. So he was kind of disappointed when the girls bail on us. Yep, girls didn't want to bail. They, they, they didn't want to, they want to play. We're interested. Too nerdy. Just too much, too much. Too much, guys. A was going to be the DM while the rest of us made characters. B helped me and D with character creation. I made a half-orc barbarian because I like big buff dudes. Fair. D made a human wizard. All right. Well, B made a halfling rogue. I, when C found out about our characters, he had a real smug attitude towards us. He had made a genocide character. I don't know what the hell that is. And he wasted no time in telling us what we were all playing, common strokes with no personality. Wow, so just basically cut off board characters. Mm, that's a big no. Red flags, red flags. I didn't know any one of them too well at that point. And my first impression of C was that he was quite self-righteous, which turned out to be true. Throughout the first session, he kept telling us all about how we were not participating enough how the DM's world wasn't fleshed enough, and how we needed to change our voices when speaking in character. It might not have been so bad if he had not been acting like he was better than all of us while doing that. Oh God. One of these, one of these, one of these. Here we go. At the end of this first session, he went to a long message on our group about how we were how all played boring. Boring. And how I hope that we all played better characters and how the world would include all different races. Bitch, you made him play like that. That's your fault, dog. That's your fault. <laughs> Get your shit out of here, bro. <laughs> D sent a message to the group for to play if he had to play with C again, and I agreed. Kick C from our group, and we all been playing DD for about five years now. Good, 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 good. We're gonna end it right there with that. Oh my god, that's a hot mess. All right, so if you appreciate this, let me know in the comments and whatnot. Uh, if you're a cop. Content creator like me, and you want to help your SEO or you know your thumbnails and what get a little better? Please uh, go to my link for VidIQ at the bottom screen right there. See that? It's floating around. You, you'll see it. And with VidIQ, what they basically do is help out creators just you know get better, uh, you know get more noticeable on YouTube like me. I mean, I've been using them for a while and working out. As you can see, it's working out. It's, yeah, it's working out. It is. And you'll get a little discount from them if you use my code right there at the screen. That's that's why I'm floating around right now. So it's floating. Just just use it. This description is below as well. It's probably in the comments is too and also add in the comments as well is my discord where i help out uh, other content creators and artists we talk around we you know we we, we know we, we shoot ideas back and forth we talk about things it's interesting it's interesting give it a shot and yeah if you really like what i'm saying and doing right now please subscribe to the channel like the channel share the channel comment in the channel i appreciate all that if you really want to help us out only if you really want to help us out you can also join the channel the only 99 cents starting out you can look at the other tiers if you want to that's all up to you if you want to get a commission from me personally you can go to my website that's following on my face in the screen right now going like that and i'm also going to add in my patreon as well all links as well will be in the description below so either way look at the screen pause it or just go descriptions whatever you want to do it's up to you man anyway i'm gonna let you go so please head on to the next video i'll see you there